Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode we finished two of the kind of battles that we were suggested to do and we have this one which I feel like it might be the last because I'm pretty sure we've done three and there were only four like people other than us and the Reeve that were at that kind of meeting we had, uh, the War Council. So I feel like this might be the last one but we have to go talk to the Reeve and travel now to uh, to to fight against some enemies, some, uh, Bard Dorum. Is that the camp? I think that might be. Let's go find out, I guess. Thane Ord Lark of Arsali convinced Reeve Frithild to put an end to the White Hand's invasion once and for all by leading an assault against their camp at Bard Doram. Okay, yeah, so it is the place I thought it was over here. This, uh, this camp to the west of Stoke. Uh, and we have these here. We have a few enemies that we're gonna have to deal with. They don't seem too bad, but I am worried about the uh, the auras, so minus 5% incoming melee damage and 10% melee uh, damage increase. Luckily, we have a lot of uh, ranged attacks, so we can hopefully use that to our advantage. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Defeat the Gate Guard and its minions, and the Reeve must survive. The Gate Guard is there. We'll probably start with... Actually, I'm not sure if we'll be able to start with him. No, it looks like we can. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll start with the Gate Guard. We'll kind of kite the, the higher... Uh, health guy, and they can kind of have a one-on-one. -on -one. I am stuck on a barrier. <laughs> that is not what we wanted. Hopefully we don't have much lag when it comes to this, and uh, yeah, we could hopefully get through this fairly quickly. But this guy has the most health out of everybody, so it shouldn't be too difficult to take out the others as soon as this guy's down. There we are, and we got a new deed! We got Troll Slayer of the Western Nut. Because apparently we haven't killed any trolls here. Which, yeah, I can't remember killing any, and I must just have not done that prior to this. So, you coming through now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that from my tracker for later. So yeah, I'm gonna take out the archer. Archers are always good to take out if you're an archer, because archers are a pain. Uh, that is another Lawmaster's star for the first day, uh, third age. We actually got one of those in the last episode as well, so it's quite common, it seemed, to that. Now, I, I I have previously mentioned that it feels like... I don't know if this is a legitimate thing, but it does feel like when you're a class, you don't get your class item as commonly. But I guess it could be a case of, like, you know, let's say there's, like, I don't know how many there are. Let's say there's, like, ten classes. You know, nine out of ten of the time. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's not going to be your class. So you're probably, like... You know, it's just because you're seeing it that way. I don't know, maybe maybe there is a thing where you don't necessarily uh, have as high a chance or a, you know, equal chance of getting your own weapon as uh, a different class's weapon. Because I feel like when I've, like, whenever I've played my champion or anything, I've more commonly gotten a, uh, a hunter weapon. Because I think we even have a champion weapons somewhere. Yeah, Champion's Club of the Third Age. And we got this, which is a minstrel, and this is another lore master from uh, the last episode. So, how much more have we got to... I suppose this place felt bigger when we were previously there. I guess because the amount of enemies there, like, kind of off, put me off a little bit. This guy has 66k help. Do you know what? I'm going to eat some food before we get into this. That'll give me some in-combat power regen. Hopefully. And that'll blast for 15 minutes, so we should be good. You've blindly fallen into a trap set for you. Now you and your friend shall fall. Farewell, shield maiden of Rohan. So we're going to take this guy. We're going to go rapid fire him. Since we've got the power, hopefully we can kind of do that. And he has, uh, he has decreased incoming melee and increased uh, outgoing melee damage. But... If we just attack him with a bow constantly, that's not melee damage, obviously, so we should be able to take him out fairly quickly. We just have to worry about power, which, as soon as we do that, we are pretty much good. Hunter's Club of the Third Age. I guess it would be uh, fitting that when I talk about not getting any hunter weapons, that I'd get a hunter weapon, but unfortunately, not one we're particularly going to really ever use. So... Now we have to uh, escape. I think the Uruk spoke truly. We must have been a trap. Hark, I hear the steps of morning. Orc boots, let them he upon. What was that? Let us he high 
ourselves from this place lest we become trapped. So there we are. Bard Dorum is in flames. It already seemed to somewhat be in flames already. So let's go talk to the Reeve and finish up this quest. Our mission is dire. Due to phasing conditions... To continue the Broadacres storyline, you must have completed Epic Volume 3, Book 12, Chapter 8. Have we done that? Epic Volume 2. That's the epilogue. Let's go to complete a quest, because we're still waiting on one, aren't we? So, if we scroll all the way down Book 12, we have not completed, it seems... Book number 12. Um, from what I can tell. I feel like we had... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Book 12 is up here. It's because it's uh, it's doing it by numbers. So, yeah. Um, book 12, Chapter 8. We have completed Book 8. Uh, book, volume 3, Book 12, Chapter 8. We could have probably just found that by looking it up but or completing here. But at least we've done it. And uh, we don't have to worry about the epic quest too much for the moment because i am enjoying stoke as i previously mentioned when we're done in stoke in this kind of area then we'll go back properly because uh, we can now do that quest because we are level 90 i think we need to be in 89 to actually do it but you know we, we're getting there but either way let's finish this quest due to facing conditions to complete the broad acre story continue the broad acre storyline you must have completed yep epic uh, volume three uh book 12 chapter eight so yeah we've done that Welcome. Stay a moment and so how is this armor looking like? Oh, that's actually looking really good. Um, so this is... I don't necessarily know what level this is. Oh, I guess our, our combat leggings are only level 80, so it would make sense that anything is super scaled up. But that will be agility, vitality. I'm looking into this one. Does that give us more fate? We actually lose fate. I think I'd rather go for a higher agility and vitality. Um, but lose the fate. Or we could do, I think, no, no, I think we'll go for that one because we only lose a tiny bit of fate, still get a bunch of vitality and a bunch of agility. Um, and it won't take us long to upgrade this, I'm assuming. It's a level 91 quest, so um, probably level 91 armor. What brings you to these lands? Talk to Reeve Thrifield to join the feast. Oh, we're going to have a nice feast. Despite Reeve Thrifield's misgivings with the victory at Bath Doram, Thane Ordlark has prompted her to hold a celebration feast. Okay, yeah, let's uh, see what leads us here, or how this leads us. Oh, Thriftbird, hello. It's been a while. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Okay, so we're to observe the festivities in the Mead Hall of Stoke. Let us observe. I will not sit in that chair because I don't think it's very nice of me to do. We should probably get out of the way. <laughs> Let's raise our mug. Can we? Do we need to raise a mug? No, we don't. Cool. Oh no! 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 What's happened? She's collapsed. Has someone like poisoned her drink? What's happening? Welcome and well met, my friend. That's not the type of tone we want here. This is not good. Collect a mug of water. Where is this mug of water? Um. Oh, we have, we have floating names off, that's why. That doesn't look like water. That looks like wine. Greetings, friend of the Rohirrim. Thriftbird is, uh, Thrithrilled is gone from us. Thriftbird is now Reeve of the Broadacres. Well, damn. That was quick and not particularly festive. So, we will now need to talk to Thane Ordlack. I feel like... Something's gonna come up. Cause I feel like that was just kind of sudden. Too sudden. Our mission is dire. Maybe I'm just being too suspicious of things. So we'll go for those. The Rohirrim will need And we'll put those on. Oh we did yeah, we did get hunter stuff. Cool. We'll put that on. We'll see what that does for our uh health. So it does increase it. We're nearly at one uh, twelve thousand. That's actually really nice. 
for us, I think. So, quests of the, uh, oh, yeah, we must have completed quests of the Broad Acres. That seems like a pretty nice, uh, thing for us. So, I don't know if that's, um, is that just complete 50 quests? Oh, damn, that's actually, like, a lot for not a lot of time, it feels like. Will you aid the Rohirrim? Talk to Thane or like to attend Reeve Thrithfield's funeral. Okay, we will, uh, we're gonna go to a funeral now, I guess. Not that I particularly wanted to, but... If it, if it calls for it, we will do so. To appease the grief of Reeve Frithild's children, Thane Ordlock has chosen to hold a private and unsettlingly cheerful funeral for the late Reeve of the Broad Acres. See, even the, even the narrator's suspicious. Unsettlingly clear, cheerful. What's going on here? I feel like Ordlock has some, has some intentions. It's Thrifter. It's too young, so maybe Thrifter will be like, "You should, you should lead." I'm suspicious. What business have you with the Rohirrim? I am here for a funeral. That's my business. I'm glad that you were able to join us. I'm sure Thrifter would have wished it. Let us begin. A lot more observing is happening. I will bring her shield. You're making me do everything. What? 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 Will you aid the horse lords? I will collect her sword. And place it upon her. Just like to point out, sword randomly appeared there. Don't know why. Don't, genuinely no idea. Just happened. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Right. Means much as, however, before we adjourn, I must make one pronouncement, and you should be a witness to it. Witness all likes pronouncement. What's going to happen here? Again, I'm suspicious of something happening. See? Knew something was gonna happen. I'm, I'm a lot more suspicious of you now. Just saying. I'm afraid to go out at night. Yeah. I'm, s I'm afraid to go out at night. Definitely. Definitely. Something. Oh, hello, Dunsing. I didn't realize you were there. Our mission is dire. They no longer distract me to keep the children in seclusion. I am sure you understand that their mother dead and thrift, but not old enough to assume his title. They are in danger. You never found the traitor in Ossoli, you know. As much as I dislike you, you have proven a trusted friend to the Broadacres. However, even you will not be allowed to speak to the children again without Thane Aldex leave. Good day to you. Are you? Okay. Before we finish. You. Or you. Are you the traitor? You could be. Pretty sure you had a beard, and the hair, and the male. Hmm. Hmm. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Let's finish with you. Let's be done here. Or like has proclaimed himself Regent of the Broad Acres. Let's go talk to him. He, as much as I am not a fan, currently, maybe he'll make it up to me, but. Definitely somewhat not a fan. Our mission is dire. Yes, I do think it was a little like during the funeral. <laughs> little little bit too early, I think. The 
The Rohirrim will need your aid. Right. So we need to go talk to Thrifbert, I guess, and uh, see what's up with him. I don't think they look particularly too happy, do they? There is so much danger. I am afraid. Okay, we need to find N. Gifu at Reeve Thriftfield's house. So I will do that for you, young Thriftbert. I was a little concerned when, uh, when we were talking about Thriftbert becoming the Reeve because he is a little bit too young. So I feel like someone, someone, particular someone, is the cause of all this. I'm not entirely sure though. Don't want to be too accusatory. Nonetheless, we need to go to the house. We need to listen to him, sort of, because he is the he is the thane of 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 this place. He's the regent of the uh, of of Stoke for the moment. Let's see. Alpha, the guard at Reed's Surfer's house, being replaced by soldiers from Osterley. He should he should be somewhere in Stoke, perhaps the inn. Yeah, see, this is becoming even more uh, suspicious to me. Maybe it's like ill-founded suspicion, but I think it's, I think it's pretty suspicious, honestly. So where are you, Alfred? You don't look so happy. Will you aid the horse lords? So you've been seen. Uh, you've been begun to see Ordike's heavy hand. I send send off and does take sent me away and replaced me with Ordike's man. The Reeves men have been displaced throughout Stoke. Many have been sent on hopeless forays against the invaders. Mike Mowes well have all like his trouble. If you want an explanation, you'll have to ask Ordike yourself. Let's go talk to him. And then uh, I think we'll be done for the day after that. Hello, Thane. I have a I have questions that I need answering. Let's see what you have to say about this stuff. What brings you to these? Why are you traveling with trivial matters? If they're not send you to retrieve this children's governess, uh, I must beg your pardon. The son of stiff neck. He was only following my instructions not to allow anybody into Fulfill's house to discover the uh, to trouble the governess. It appears that I was mistaken. Son of reports the old woman was so overcome by grief that she threw herself from the second floor and perished. It is terrible. Why do I not believe you? The Rohirrim will need your aid. Right. The physician, Weingar, has asked to speak to you at the inn. Rightio then. So, a spy among us. Yeah, I have a feeling I know uh, who... He, yeah. I think I'm harping on about it too much, but you know. I thought I liked Dud's sake, but no, he's uh, he's been a bit, a bit mean to us. Not not as much of a fan. But either way, let's give it for now. Uh, next episode, what we'll do is we'll go talk to Weingar and then uh, carry on from there. See what's up. See if we can reclaim Stoke from Ordlack. Maybe that's going to be how it ends for us because, uh, yeah, don't like him being sat there. So either way, though, let's give it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.